Hello everyone, it's me Samuel Taylor Aykroyd and welcome back to my channel. In this trip report, I will be flying with Ryanair from Edinburgh in Scotland to Dublin in Southern Ireland. This was the first Ryanair flight of the day between Edinburgh and Dublin and it was an early morning flight. I didn't have any luggage to check in, I just had my backpack so I headed straight up the escalator to security. I will get into why I am traveling light with just a backpack later in the trip report. Security this morning was a breeze and took just under 10 minutes to clear. After security, it is a short walk to the duty-free store at Edinburgh Airport, which has a very good selection of things to buy, such as alcoholic drinks, cigarettes, snacks, and gifts. I didn't buy anything from the duty-free store that morning and continued to walk to the departure lounge. Even during early hours, almost everything in the departure lounge was open and there is a good amount of shops and restaurants. I decided to have a bacon roll and a cup of tea from Costa Coffee for breakfast, which were very good. Soon after I finished my breakfast, I headed to gate 1 Alpha to wait for my flight to Dublin. As we head to board the aircraft, I'll take the time to say that this flight will be remembered as the first flight I travelled on unaccompanied by a relative. Now that I am 18 years old, I am able to travel by myself and this trip to Dublin is the first international trip I've taken by myself. Before we boarded the aircraft, we had to wait roughly 15 minutes. I personally wasn't all that bothered about the wait, and we were soon able to board the aircraft. The aircraft taking me to Dublin that morning was a 13-year-old Boeing 737-800, registered as Echo India-Echo Kilo Mike. Now time for the taxi and takeoff footage. Show motion to begin with the cabin lights for takeoff. This is the normal procedure. We're flying the hours of darkness. If you wish to continue reading, you can find the reading light in a planet just above. We departed from Edinburgh Airport's runway 24 at 6.43 in the morning, which is two minutes ahead of schedule. Now time for a seat tour of seat 23 Alpha. The legroom was pretty tight for someone who is roughly six foot tall. The tray table is rather big and does not extend, but it doesn't really need to because of its size. The safety card is printed onto the back of the seat. There are no seat back pockets on any of Ryanair's aircraft. The bathrooms on board were very clean and in good working order. The
The crew came around to the cabin with a beverage service. I didn't buy anything on this flight because I had bought some donuts and a bottle of Lucozade to snack on and drink. I will now show you all some shots I took of the sun rising throughout the flight. We were soon descending into Dublin Airport and the sun was still rising as we were arriving, which made this a sunrise arrival. As we descend, I'll tell you the price of today's flight. I paid £16.99 for the value fare. I also paid an extra £6 for seat selection. This means that I paid a total of £22.99 for this flight between Edinburgh and Dublin. In my opinion, that's such a good price to pay, and all Ryanair had to do to please me was to simply get me from A to B, and that is exactly what they managed to do. The value fare is the cheapest fare on any Ryanair flight, probably because you're only entitled to bring a bag that fits under the seat on board with you. I only needed my backpack because I was at Dublin Airport for the day so I could fly with Ryanair for the first time, make some in-flight videos and do some plane spotting at Dublin Airport. We land onto Dublin Airport's runway 28 left at 7.25 in the morning, which is half an hour ahead of schedule. Now that we have arrived at Dublin Airport, I'll take some time to give my final thoughts on today's trip. Kicking things off at Edinburgh Airport. Security was quick and easy to get through and the staff were very friendly and helpful. Almost everything in the departure lounge was open during the very early hours, so even if your flight is really early in the morning like this one, you will still find somewhere decent to eat. The selection of shops and restaurants at Edinburgh Airport is also really good, and the staff at the airport are very friendly and helpful. Moving on to the flight with Ryanair, Despite the 15 minute wait in the cold air before boarding, the flight was really good. The crew were very friendly, the seats were very comfortable despite the tight legroom, the toilets were clean and working properly, and we departed earlier than planned, and we arrived half an hour early. I would also just like to say that I'm surprised that Ryanair had an in-flight service on such a short flight, like this one, because I'm sure that anyone can survive on a flight that's less than an hour long without food and drink. The low price of £22.99 also added to my great experience. With a flight like that, expectations have to be low, so I was pleasantly surprised by this flight. What added to my great experience with Ryanair is that the crew let me have a visit to the cockpit once we parked at the gate. I had some great chats with the pilots, who were just as friendly as the flight attendants. We disembarked the aircraft using stairs, which I, like most other AV geeks, love because we get a great look at the aircraft we just flew on. I personally had a good experience on this flight, 
and my return flight that I took on the same day in the evening on board one of Ryanair's Boeing 737 MAX 8 200s. The trip report for that flight will be coming soon. I would definitely recommend flying with Ryanair, especially if the prices are good like they were on this flight. Thanks so much for watching this trip report. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.